small telescopes, uh, especially classic Japanese ones, uh, are very cheap usually. And uh, if you get one of them, you can practically use them for anything, you know. Just attach them to a dovetail bar with a cable tie and you are ready to go. And uh, you will have a telescope which is usable, better than the naked eye. Stronger and more powerful than a binoculars. And you are able to actually use it for observing the planets and the uh, uh, moon and many of the deepest sky objects. The challenge just works because they're very cheap. Uh, so we have something like that here, and I'm opening it layer by layer. This is the, another layer. So, so far we have one telescope. There must be a pack one here. Let's just see. And we have another one here. Let's just open this one. Hmm. Very interesting. Offices, Thunderscope, Barlow, mm. Star Diagonal, Schools. Port mount, the attachments for the tray, wrench for the tray, mm. and uh, when you remove the this is styrofoam, the tripod is under it. Okay, I've set it up now. The telescope looks uh, quite interesting. Uh, the metal tripod is quite heavy. And uh, I'm not sure it's sturdy because it is, has some screws here that you need to tighten up before rigi reaching a rigidity. But uh, looking through it, I found that the optics is good, it's not bad. I may try to actually modify this, use this uh, um, adapter if I can, uh, this adapter, if I can fit it here I can use a normal eyepiece. Um, I just want to see if I can use the normal one and a quarter eyepiece. So let's just see if I can do that. Okay, I tried to use this uh, adapter on this, uh, unfortunately it didn't go, so I used the uh, original supplied uh, star diagonal uh, 0 0.96 to um, one and a quarter inch eyepiece and a normal one and a quarter eyepiece. Let's just see how is the view through this. Uh, visually the view was really good there was no false color i couldn't see any false color in this view uh, of course the camera holding the camera is not an easy job so you may see some uh, variation that is not because of the optics and that is the view through the surface and the target we were viewing was that street lamp and the photovoltaic cell uh, or light sensitive cell on top of it it turns it uh, turns it off and on as the light level changes and this is how it looks like inside the lens cell let me turn off the flash uh, it's relatively dark 
but I noticed the drawer tube uh, is not flocked inside so it may affect eventually the in the brightening of the image I will try to see if I can paint inside it or flock it